come and tell you, you killed my father. Prepare to die. So we are ready to look at the program R and R Studio. Note that those are actually two separate programs. R is the program that has all the statistical functions. R Studio is simply a wrapper. It uses R, but it makes it look pretty. And there's some discussion about should we bother students with two different programs. What we've decided is for the first time you're learning R, R Studio makes it look nicer. And so it's worth that tiny bit of extra work. And when I say tiny bit, it's not hard to download and it's not hard on your computer memory wise or processor wise. So I specially deleted it from my computer just so I could show you how to do it. So I'm going to do a search for download R and it automatically pulls up. Hey, I'm guessing you want R for Windows. Well, yes, that happens to be what I'm using. So clicking here will take me right to what I wanted, which is download R for Windows. But in case you're using something different, there really are some options. Look here, the CRAN.R, that stands for Comprehensive R Archive Network, .rproject.org takes you here. Are you using Linux? Are you using Mac? Using Windows? If you search, they should pull up automatically. But if not, there's where you can go to get them. The base version of R is all we want. And so clicking on this says, where do you want to save it? Let's just put it right on the desktop. And it takes about one minute, yeah, less than a minute, but I paused the video anyway. And when we click on it, so it says, do you want to install this? Yes, in English. And then we are putting all these in, blah, blah, whatever, whatever. That's not stuff anybody reads anyway. And this is how fast it takes to unpack it and get it all completely ready. There we go. Now, that is R. That's not R Studio. So I'm going to also look for download our studio and oh, what oh it's supposed to be one word great whatever there we are um which version do we want definitely the free one is going to do everything that we need for this class what do i have windows and let's save that to the desktop and it takes even less time because it doesn't really have a whole lot of extra things it's doing only pieces of our studio i was just Installing and let's do next program. Yeah, yeah. So I'll pause it so that you don't have to. Whoa, maybe I won't pause it. Wow, look at that. Okay, well, I was about mm -hmm, there. We go. And now in my list of programs, I have our studio, and here it pulls up. What do we see here? Well, we have three boxes. I'm trying to size this right, but I would suggest you make a fourth box. If you go right here, that button, give me a new R script, and let me size this out just a little bit here. This is what I like my R Studio to look like. Here's the four boxes. This is the box showing you what the computer is actually running. This box over here is going to have our plots or pictures. Up here, it's going to list out our data sets, and this is just scratch paper, which is very useful. So if you can see this, you've got our studio working, and I'll show you in the next video how to make it run. If you're curious, what about just R by itself? Well, that was in my program too, and I can try to size things to make it look better. Look, there's my computer piece and a new script here. There's my scratch paper that I can work on as I am going through a data set. And if I hurry and plot something, it'll pull up my plot window, which I can put over there. And now it looks pretty much like our studio. The list of data sets doesn't work as easily in R. Um, is there a reason why we're using R Studio instead since R is so similar? And the answer really is it makes things look a little nicer. It spaces these windows out pretty and it gives us this list over here. So yes, this class has been chosen to be taught with R Studio using R. In the next video, I'll show you how to actually work some of this stuff.